So when making smaller pieces, I usually throw up the hump, uh, use a big chunk of clay, and then just focus the top. Um, after I finish, I will just cut it off and then keep on throwing another piece. This uh, kind of method is called throw up the hump and uh, it's, uh, it's more uh, efficient when throw this way. And uh, my clay, this clay, it's not like the clay I usually do. This is stoneware, stoneware clay. And uh, basically, two clay that I mix together to get this kind of uh, color. And uh, also, it's good for reduction fire. We'll get a uh, iron speckles, a lot of speckles when doing the reduction fire. Since I'm going to uh, alter and uh, later on when I'm trimming, I would uh, use a tool to uh, remove more clay up the side. So uh, I uh, normally, for this kind of a teapot, I dig the wall a bit thicker. This is the body and then I'm going to alter it. I'm going to throw, uh, make a, like a six-sided the teapot that has uh, six face. So I kind of measure using my index finger on both hands and then I just use my thumb to uh, eyeball to roughly get the three equal part on the half side and then uh, again just I bought to make another three equal part for the other half and then in between of the mark I, I make I just uh, make a mark in between on the top so just uh, to make a mark here six equal section on the bottom and six equal section on the top and I'm gonna connect the two dots by just sticking my finger there inside to push to squeeze out to alter it so to push here and connect with this part okay so it's six sided so I am going to squeeze a little bit more 
One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Okay. All right. Then the rim is a little bit off, but uh, I can just uh, use the a, uh, a rim to compress it. Okay. Shammy to smooth the rim. Okay, so this first one for the body before I cut it off. I like to measure for the lid. Okay. Right then. Now I can cut it off. So that's the body for the teapot. a lid I usually make a shallow ball first okay. um, the bottom is gonna be the knob so it could be a bit uh, a bit narrow there's something in my clay Let's get rid of it. This part could be a bit smaller. On this part could be wider. So I'm digging a shallow ball. Press here using my thin index finger to squeeze right in the middle so you can a roughly idea where my gallery will be. And then use this uh, wooden rib where you have a 90 degrees and you just squeeze it. So we could uh, try to squeeze a little bit more clay to the center. Squeeze it in so that it's a little bit smaller. Okay, this this section a little bit too wide and uh, doesn't look good. Uh, fitting the, the body very well, so I'm going to trim trim it off. 
Uh, this is my number 10 trimming tools. It's very pointy, so it's good for trim the clay off. And I just smooth the edge. trim the knob later on. And just cut it off. So this is the lid. It's going to be an upside down lid. And I will show you how I uh, trim. Now I'm going to make out for the keypad. You don't really have uh, much clay. Basically, for throwing a spout, you are kind of like throwing a small bottle. Get a stick, the wooden stick, uh, to thin down because when I'm trying to bring the clay in, the wall is getting a bit thicker. Um, the, with the stick there, um, I'm kind of squeeze it and push that. I will be able to make the wall a little bit thinner. a little bit faster too because the uh, diameter is smaller and uh, you need to spin your wheel a little bit faster
just use the Xiaomi to smooth. This shape like a small bottle with a very narrow neck. Okay, uh, so after I form the shape, now I I will cut it off and try to bend it so that the uh, the spout has a little curve, curve instead of straight. A little curve looks nicer, and also it helps the water flow uh, when they come out from the uh, spout. Uh, so to be able to bend it, uh, I need to dry the surface. So basically, uh, I'm using the hair dryer, the, the heat gun, to uh, to dry the surface. Especially this part it could be a little bit drier, but on um, this part here, uh, you probably just want to dry so that it doesn't stick, but still uh, soft, workable. Okay, this part could be a little bit uh, drier, okay, because your hand is gonna hold on here. But in here, uh, if you dry it too much when you bend it. You might you might have a crack so the uh, stage of uh, dryness is very important when you try to use the air dryer to dry the spout okay, so I cut it out from the wheel okay, and this part is kind of a little bit dry and this part is still wet a little bit wet but uh, I try to remove the, the slip so it doesn't have my when I bend it, it doesn't crack Try to uh, adjust the curve so you can see that start to uh, curve in here. And when I bend it, this part here, a little bit tip in here, uh, which doesn't look nice. So I like to uh, push from the inside to get this part a little bit higher. So I will get my 202 cut and open. I'm going to attach this way so it doesn't hurt to just cut the top. Cut it off a bit. Okay, for this part here, my hand can go inside and try to squeeze it, push it up. So that it looks a little bit nicer that the whole curve follows.
when the clay is not too dry, it's uh, really flexible that you could alter and change the shape a bit. So this will be the spot after uh, they dry and I will show you how to uh, assemble the spout and the handle.